Welcome to Exploitation Reviews, and me, Rob, and today's special guest, Rashad, is back to talk black exploitation, baby. Last time he was here, we talked about Mandingo, and I was angry and raged. It went really well, so he's back, and we're talking about a Rudy Ray Moore classic. Are you ready, Rashad? Rob, what's the deal? Pickles is everything kosher. So thank you for inviting me to the channel once again to talk some black exploitation. And this time we're talking Dolomite 2, the follow-up to the very successful Dolomite. And um, I just gotta say right off rip, this movie is stupid. It is a stupid, dumb movie where after you're done watching it, you feel like you lost a few brain cells and you you just like need to do something intelligent to get back any kind of dignity any kind of integrity that you had as a person that's how horrible this movie is but it is such a good time to watch <laughs> it's like the definition of a guilty pleasure is the human tornado if you look up guilty pleasure in the dictionary there's a picture of the human tornado with Rudy Ray Moore punching at the screen like this okay uh, the, the movie made no sense okay it's pretty much Rudy Ray Moore doing his stand-up act it, it, it's a variety show okay it's just an old school variety uh, series like show but with a somewhat plot in there so you got two plots in this movie one that has to do with Dolomite um, having sex with the white woman <laughs> and the husband trying to get revenge on him in one of the most funniest scenes ever and also it has to do with the nightclub owner that buys I guess Dolomite's club or he terrorizes Queen Bee and the Kung Fu girls and kidnaps two of them and beats Queen Bee up, so now Dolomite has to get his girls back while at the same time dodging this redneck that's out to kill him. That's basically the movie, okay? Man, but I tell you, there are so many laughs in here, so many just genuine <laughs> silly moments, and I don't know if the, if the director was on Sherm, I don't know what he was smoking, but there's even a, a sequence here where Dolomite uh, goes incognito, he, he goes in disguise, and he tries to infiltrate the, the the bad guys, I guess, main lady, to try to find out where his girls are, which turns into a very bizarre sex sequence. I'm not even going to try to explain it, man. Yeah. <laughs> this movie's a trip. Now, I've watched this uh, uh, sober and drunk. This movie works better while intoxicated. Now, I don't want to try to uh, advocate any kind of... Uh, drug or alcohol use, but I'm just saying, for this movie to really work for you, to really get the full experience out of this movie, I recommend having a few shots, I think you'll have a good time with it, so that, that's all I want to say about this movie, uh, Rudy Ray Moore is in top form here, so even though Dol uh, the first Dolomite is technically a better movie, but the second one is just so over the top, it's so outrageous, that I think the second one, though inferior to the first movie, has more rewatchability, because there's just so many more laughable moments in there, especially the kung fu sequences, where they speed the film up to make it, I guess, you know, more Bruce Lee, uh, Bruce Lee-ish. And also the... <laughs> yeah, man. Yo. It, okay, as a critic, this movie gets like a, like a D minus F. Like probably one of the, the dumbest movies ever made, but... I enjoy watching it, y'all. I that, that's that's all I can say. I, I enjoy watching this. I love Rudy Ray Moore, and uh, his movies got better after that. So you got Petey Wheatstraw after that, and the Disco Godfather. All of his movies are on point. I, I recommend buying them all on Blu-ray. So that's it. That's all. Bad movie, but I love it. <laughs> hey, there you go, Rob. The floor is back yours. Thanks for inviting me, my brother. And um, yeah, I agree with Rashad. This is a stupid movie, but it's also really funny. In fact, a few years ago, when my wife and I watched the Eddie Murphy film, Dolomite Is My Name, she loved it so much, she wanted to watch a real Rudy Ray Moore movie, and this is the one I showed her. She's not a big fan of these low-budget exploitation films, but I knew she would like this one, and I think you will too. The film opens with Rudy Ray Moore roasting people as his persona Dolomite, which is great to see. I'm glad that's in the movie. I had a brother look just like you. He stuck his head out the window and his lips beat him to death. But the film becomes really special once the story gets going. Some super racists see some black folks having a good time, including a young Ernie Hudson. And so they call the cops. And the cops are more than willing to come on over and break up the party. 
<laughs> and they find Dolomite in bed with the sheriff's wife. It's just too perfect. He made me do it! Bitch, are you for real? My wife thought this was funny because of how absurd the situation was. Uh, what she didn't understand is the situation is not absurd. Even today, racist white people will call the cops on black people just having a good time. She's German. She doesn't know these things. Anyway, on a less serious note, does anyone know where I can find this hat? I've been looking for one of these for years. Let me know in the comments. So, back to the review. One thing Rashad didn't mention, which absolutely deserves to be mentioned, is, oh my god, this woman is gorgeous. Whew, and the sex scene she has with Dolomite is a pretty even mix between hilarious and hot. <laughs> it's not even the sex scene Rashad was talking about. That's a different one. This movie has a few of those. And they're all great in different ways. Well, I don't really need to talk about this movie a whole lot. Yes, it's terrible. Yes, I love it. Yes, I'm a huge fan of Rudy Ray Moore. In fact, Rudy Ray Moore is a big reason I figured out what black exploitation was at all. I heard Snoop Dogg talking about how he was, you know, pimping hose and clocking a grip like his name was Dolomite, and I was like, who? And then the Reservoir Dogs were talking about Pam Greer and Get Christy Love, and I was a Lake Michigan beach kid, and the internet didn't even exist yet, so I kind of had to ask around and figure out what was going on. And that's what we did back before the internet. We talked to people. It really sucked. Anyway, even if low-budget stupid movies are not your thing, you should definitely still check out Dolomite Is My Name with Eddie Murphy. That is a great movie. By any metric. It does a really wonderful job of capturing what Rudy Ray Moore was all about, and it quickly became one of my favorite Eddie Murphy performances. And as far as the real Dolomite is concerned, well, Rashad said it best. 